Hi YouTube. I had had a request to do one of these types of videos, so I hope this honors the request. I, I hope you enjoy. So a, a little <coughs> a little while ago, uh, Statistic Cool had sent me an email. He had done a video on the silver ring test, and he wanted me to uh, spread the word. So I'll link that in the, in the description box. I took it. I'll be honest. I failed miserably. Um, <laughs> I For some reason, it didn't translate well for me over the speakers. I, I like to do the ring test myself, and it's a lot more apparent when, it, when it's right in front of you and, and not digitally filtered. So um, I did very poorly on the ring test. But if you want to take it, uh, check out his video. So the whole premise of my channel, right from day one, and, and going forward for however long I do this is one simple thing I want you to do well and I want to do well I want you to be successful and I want to be successful period I love being able to share deals that pop up you know we have a lot of <laughs> if you want to use the term boots on the ground we have a lot of people looking for deals. You know, you don't have time to sit there surfing every single uh, dealer and, and looking for deals. But you know what? There's always somebody out there that, that catches one. I like sharing ideas on ways to make extra money. I love it when you're able to uh, take advantage of that stuff. And I try to take advantage of it. And when you uh, take that approach and you take a period of time, it all adds up. I was going through the, um, the comment section on a couple of my older videos, and uh, first of all, it's funny how, how many people, I mean, you just don't hear from anymore. But uh, one of my first few videos, I, I, there was a comment, and uh, it said, hey, Silverfish, I just did my first vi uh, silver video, check it out. And it was from uh, Big Stack McGee. And, uh, if you go to his channel now, and I understand this is like, you know, almost a year and a half ago now. Go to his channel now and check out how much he's been able to accumulate. Okay. I remember when Epic RV bought his first piece of silver. And then you look at what he's been able to accumulate. Just since uh, December of uh, 2012. Pretty impressive. And for those of you listening to my voice that haven't bought their first ounce yet or just barely bought their first ounce, one of you, or some of you, is going to be in the same position. You're going to kind of take this approach and you're going to keep plugging away at it. And then in the year 2016, somebody's going to go into uh, the YouTube search engine and they're going to type in silver and gold and your name is going to pop up and they're going to be blown away by how much you were able to buy. And they're going to wonder how you did it. How were you able to pull this off? Boy, I wish I could have bought silver at 19 and change or 20 and change. And you'll be sitting on a nice pile and going, wow, this, this really, really adds up fast. I had a plan. I was focused. I stuck to it. And I look at where I am. You know, a lot of us start at zero. Okay, I, I realize that you know, there, there, are, there are varying levels of success. You know, people come on, and, and some of them are already well-established, and, 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 and they're doing well, okay? And there's some one percenters and everything else. But you know what? For the rest of us that exist in the fat part of the bell curve that maybe are starting at zero, it's not easy. It's not easy. But you got to kind of come up with that plan, and you got to stick with it. One of, uh, one of my videos that has been the most well received was uh, my big silver stack, How Bad Do You Want a video. And I get a lot of positive feedback from that. And what it tells me is that, first of all, people want to know that they're not in this alone. And I guarantee you, you're not in this alone. I'm telling you, it wasn't that long ago I was at zero. My net worth was basically at zero. I had to start over. And I had to start with that first ounce of silver, that first tube of silver, and I just kept plugging away at it. And I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be, but I'm on the path. And I have more confidence than ever that I'm going to get where I want to be.
The other thing it tells me is um, people want to be motivated. Sometimes people want to be motivated. Sometimes people want to kick in the pants. And that's good. And, and hopefully on occasion I can give you that kick in the pants or somebody else will. But know that we're all in this together. You know, the purpose of my channel is not for us all to sink to the bottom. Hey, see you at the bottom. <laughs> we're all going to fail miserably together. No. It's for all of us to succeed. You know, when I did my upward mobility video, uh, what I was trying to kind of get across is Unfortunately, you know, as we become a more and more downtrodden and complacent society, as, as the fight is leaving people, you're really going against human nature, right? Man is not meant to be complacent. Man is meant to fight. Man is meant to achieve and to succeed, okay? And as more, pe more and more people kind of fall out of that, it, it's just not a good thing. You know, I recognize that today... We're living in a minefield, but I want you to thrive in that minefield. We know the rules of the game. You know, I'll let you in on a little secret. Come, come a little closer. The system is set up for the wealthy to stay wealthy. Unless they're a, con a colossal screw-up like Mike Tyson and MC Hammer, the wealthy will stay wealthy, period. Now you know the rules of the game. Does that mean that you pack it in? It can't be you? No. It's not all about, you know, uh, look, people have a lottery ticket mentality. And that's part of what's fueling this whole Bitcoin thing, okay, unfortunately. And that, that's what really saddens me, is that people see this as a lottery ticket for them. But you know what? Unfortunately, most lottery tickets are worthless. Very few win the lottery. And I, I really feel bad for people that honestly think that some anonymous Japanese guy that plays some computer bits in a system and, and you go and get it is going to make you a millionaire. I really feel bad for these people. But it is what it is. Have you ever seen a bunch of kids play musical chairs? It's always funny because, uh, you know, you always hear musical chairs. And when was the last time you actually watched a game of musical chairs? You probably remember from when you were a kid and everything else. But I, I volunteer at my kid's school, so I do see stuff like this. And uh, I like to observe. And uh, the last time I watched it, I, I, it, it really was fascinating to me. Because you get 15 kids playing musical chairs. And some of those kids are kind of skipping along and... And going along merrily. And, and they know the rules of the game. Yeah, the music stops. And I, I try to find a chair. Then you get the other kids. Right? They're going around the corner. And they go really fast around the corner. And then every chair that they're by, they're almost sticking their butt towards it. And they're going really slow until they get to the next chair. And then they speed up. Because they realize that that's the way to win at that game. And you know that those that three or four kids, those are the ones that are going to be there till the end. They know how to play the game. Unfortunately, the ones that are kind of skipping along, and they're out early. You know, life is a big game of musical chairs. Just make sure that you always have a seat. Now, one expression that I do like is, uh, is um, if you lose your job, it's a, I'm sorry, if your neighbor loses his job, it's a recession. If you lose your job, it's a depression. Okay, that's one of the, 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 the truisms on like CNBC you hear all the time. And it's true. And people talk about the, uh, the SHTF scenario a lot, you know, dollar collapse and all that stuff. But the simple fact of the matter is, you know, given the malaise of the economy, there's really a better chance of having your own personal SHTF situation than having a societal SHTF situation, if that makes sense. The odds of lo you losing your job is, is getting fairly high. When you, when you look at how companies are structured now, when you look at how they're chasing every last dollar, okay? So you, you have to be prepared for that to happen. Now, what can you do? Now, I've literally, in my place of work, I've survived about eight layoffs now <laughs> in 15 years. It's ridiculous. 
Okay, and every time one of them happens, it, it, it always happens the same way. And I, and I always feel bad, you know, and uh, some of them, you know, kind of want it because they're close to retirement, but others get caught with their pants down. And I always hear the same thing. Oh, oh, did you hear about poor so-and-so? Uh, they just bought a $350,000 house and, you know, what are they going to And I'm, I just shake my head every single time. And, you know, I don't say this out loud, but I think to myself, who is going out there and overextending themselves today, knowing knowing what we know? Now, obviously, they're oblivious to it, unfortunately. You know, a lot of people don't read the economic tea leaves. I think for most of the people that watch Silver and Gold channels, I think we're all kind of uh, dialed in on that, right? But I always, I always shake my head and go, who is, who is doing that today? you got to protect yourself. The old rules of... You know, spending up to every paycheck and, and, and buying all this stuff, those, that's, those days are gone. Those rules are out the window. You know, if I buy this $350,000 house, it'll be worth $450,000 in five years, and then I can, you know, no. No. No, those days are gone. Let me close with this. Okay. I know that some of you are just starting out. And I know that some of you will do very well. We are all very visual creatures. Okay? Um, certainly the men are. We're excited by visual stimulation. We're motivated by visual stimulation. Okay? What I want you to do is, especially if you have very little silver, and even if you have a decent silver stack and you want more, I want you to go to YouTube, and let's say you're at your first five ounces. What I want you to do is I want you to go watch a video with 100 ounces in it. I want you to look at that 100 ounces, and I want you to come up with a plan. I want you to give yourself a reasonable time frame and a plan on how you're going to get that 100 ounces. Once you get that 100 ounces in your hand, I want you to take that next step. Maybe it's 500 ounces. And I want you to go out and you, I want you to watch a video on 500 ounces of silver. And now that you've already established that you can do this, I want you to come up with a plan on how you're going to get to that 500 ounce threshold. And so on and so forth. That is how you're going to do well. Spending within your means. Possibly looking for alternate sources of income. And saving, investing the difference. There's no big mystery here, guys. There's no big secrets. Okay, it's a slow and steady approach. But it adds up and it pays off. And you really don't have to do much other than looking at some uh, YouTube channels for examples. Okay, go, go to Big Stack McGee and go look at his first few videos and watch how that adds up. You know, go to some of these silver channels and see where they started out and recognize that as you keep plugging away, you will get there too. But there's no lottery tickets. There's no quick strikes here, guys. It's a slow and steady approach. And you're going to have to tune out a lot of noise. You know, I, I hear it all the time. Hey, silver's down a nickel today. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, if you can't see what I've done here, then I don't really know what to tell you. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.